International Media TV. Television that listens to you. Hi, I'm Johnny Burrell. Welcome to the program. I want to begin with asking you, as a child, when was the first time you realized that your father was different? Well, you know, um, I don't know when the exact point was, but because there were people in and out of our home all the time uh, who were sometimes prominent and well-known, um, some actors like Harry Belafonte and, or entertainers, uh, as well as uh, people uh, like Julian Bond, Stokely Carmichael, and John Lewis. Uh, certainly back then didn't know, totally understand who they were, but knew that what he and his team were doing was important to bringing about a transformation in our society. So I probably was, you know, seven, eight, or nine, and then I also traveled with my father uh, maybe uh, seven or eight times. And oftentimes when I, we traveled, it was my dad, Dr. Abernathy, and several of his lieutenants. And so uh, in the context of travel, I had an opportunity to see him interact with, uh, with people from all walks of life. So I knew that he was doing something significant. I, I can't say that I understood <laughs> right. at that time. But, but I knew something. But you knew something was, knew something's something. up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Martin said, and this was at the convention, he said his father would be proud of Barack Obama, par proud of the party that nominated him, and proud of the America that will elect him. Now that's what he said in 2008. He said that. And um, just personally, I just have to say, Martin was my keynote speaker when I was sworn in as chair of the Congressional Black Caucus. He spoke for me. And he set the tone for my agenda for two years with the Black Caucus to focus on pathways out of poverty. Martin III, like his parents, is a true leader in the fight to eradicate poverty and to realize the dream for all God's children. Last year was the 50th anniversary of certainly the March on Washington, where he delivered that vision for our nation. Yes, it was 